Welcome to SNN News. It's December 12, 2018, and I am Spencer Zimmerman. Russia denies it is behind yellow vest gas tax protests in France. After a photo circulated on social media showing yellow jacket protesters in Paris waving the flag of a pro-Russian militia group designated as a terrorist organization by Ukraine, a reporter in Moscow asked a spokesperson speaking on behalf of Russian President Vladimir Putin if Russia has played a part in organizing the gas tax protests that have ravaged France for the past month. He responded, any such statements are nothing but slander. Russia considers these developments to be France's domestic affair. We have never interfered in the domestic affairs of other countries, including France, as we place much importance on the development of relations and both countries have been working rather hard to that end. Uh, the French foreign minister has indicated that security services would investigate if the Kremlin had a hand in driving the protests online, which were sparked by a proposed fuel tax increase, but have evolved into a movement against the government and left-wing green energy policies of French President Emmanuel Macron. Meanwhile, Russia has reportedly attempted to fuel French protests online according to a national security think tank that said about 600 Twitter accounts known to promote Kremlin views have begun focusing on France and during the last 48 hours yellow vests was a top hashtag being promoted by Russian controlled influence networks. A change in Facebook algorithm is also being cited as a possible contributor to the protest origins. On May 29th of this year a 32 year old woman from uh, Paris suburbs created a change.com petition seeking a drop in fuel prices. After recent changes to Facebook's news feed, seeking to prioritize news that is trustworthy, informative, and local by upranking news from local publishers was implemented, her petition went viral, soon being covered by local radio, television, and newspaper, and now has over a million signatures. Some in France have alleged that a hacking group linked to Russia's GRU military intelligence agency targeted Macron's presidential campaign and his opposition. National Front leader Marie Le Pen, uh, who has been supportive of Russian President Vladimir Putin and his military actions in Ukraine and Syria.